Talk to me about how important your eyes are as a wide receiver to winning at the next level. Yeah, so eyes, I think I kind of take that a few different ways. Eyes um, in terms of at the line of scrimmage, understanding um, the leverage that the DB is playing, right? So if the DB is playing outside leverage, I'm probably not going to force the outside release. I'll give what he's taking me. Um, then eyes go hand in hand with identifying safeties because um, that usually determines the coverage or can give you a total of the coverage. And then eyes uh, focusing on the ball. Normally, you've heard it a lot of times, like receivers catch with their eyes, not their hands. So Absolutely. looking at the ball, looking it in. Okay, so when you're, uh, you're facing an opponent, a corner coming up, what are you looking for on film when you're studying that guy? Yeah, so I look for a few things. Tendencies is my biggest one. Um, I like to do my own scattering report every week of the DB that I'm going against. Uh, kind of go through his size, uh, how many years he's played, how many games he's played, um, what year he is. I go back to his high school, look at you know how he was in high school. Um, tendencies, is he a guy that likes to be physical at the line? Is he a guy that's like the soft, soft shoot? Um, and then just how he is after a play. Like, is he going to be talking shit? Or <laughs> is he kind of just a guy that, Love. you know, is just kind of laid back and chill? Because those are things that you have to mentally prepare for. Um, and I think that can give me kind of a key of what, what to expect in the game. Appreciate it.